Hello and welcome to another episode of Disney Movie Investigation. If this is your first time watching, welcome to the show. In each episode, we take a look at a movie that is featured on Disney+. Plus. On this episode, we are taking a look at the 1994 Western action movie as we take a look at Bad Girls starring Andy McDowell and Drew Barrymore. And stay tuned for a bonus episode bonus story as we take a look at a never built Walt Disney World attraction as we take a look at the Western Expedition. And if you enjoy these videos, I do ask if you please hit that subscribe button. That way you'll never miss a single episode. But for now, sit back and enjoy this episode of Disney Movie Investigation. So like I said, today we're covering Bad Girls and this movie was released on April 22nd, 1994. And it was directed by Jonathan Kaplan. And the screenplay was by Ken Friedman and Yulon Finch. It was distributed by 20th Century Fox. And it had a budget of $35 million. And it did a box office return of only $23 million. <clears throat> In terms of the produc production history, the original director was Tamara Davis. And however, three weeks into shooting in Sedona, California... Davis was fired, and the studio hired a new producer, Lydia Obst, and a new director, Jonathan Kaplan, as well as a new cinematographer, Ralph E. Bodie, and a new screenwriter, Ken Friedman. The film took a month hiatus to rewrite the script and to make it more action-oriented. Actress Madeline Stone would later criticize the change, saying she found the first script to be better, and with the new script, she never would have agreed to do the movie in the first place. Furthermore, after the movie she came out, she stated that she had nothing positive to say about the experience. Drew Barrymore would also add her criticism, saying that her experience doing Bad Girls was the pits. On a positive note, the musical score was written by Jerry Goldsmith, and a soundtrack was released two different times. Uh, the first was released on May 10th, 1994 by 20th Century Fox Film Scores, and then a second extended edition was released by Lava Land Records and on Fox Music on June 28, 2011. So in terms of the cast, we have Madeline Stone, who plays Cody Zamora, Mary Stuart Matheson, who plays Anita Crown, Andy McDowell, who plays Ellen Spencer, Drew Barrymore plays Lily Larinette, James Russo plays Kid Jarrett, and Robert Lagoya plays Frank Jarrett. So in terms of the plot, when saloon prostitute Go Cody Zamora rescues her friend Anita from an abusive customer by killing him, she is sentenced to hang. However, Anita and her two friends, Eileen and Lily, rescue Cody, and the four make a run to Texas, pursued by Graves and O'Brady, as well as two Pinkerton detectives hired to track them. When Cody withdraws her savings from a Texas bank, the women believe they can start a new life in Oregon. However, Cody's old partner, Kid Jarrett, takes Cody's money when the gang robs the bank and the so far so fo so four of them called the Honky Tonk Harlots set out to recover their money while the Pinkertons are on their trail. So in terms of recommending this movie, uh, this movie is a mess. Um, it lacks any clear direction. And the characters are poorly written with no backstory to give any reason for the audience to become invested in them. Uh, plot points are often dropped and then picked up towards the end when the writers must have remembered having them and then they didn't want to leave the script as a loophole. Uh, there are a lot of characters' deaths, but none of them have actually any meaning because the audience is not given any reason for the audience to care about them. Um, overall, I would say this is one you can definitely skip as it uh, does not tell a good story and none of the four actresses' performances are memorable. Um, two of them have went on record and said that they hated the experience, so a lot of them look like they just phoned it in. So let, as we move into a positive story, let's take a look at the Western Re River Expedition. So the Wister Western River Expedition was a theme park attraction that was designed for Walt Disney World, but was never built. It was to be a Western boat ride and would have been located in Frontierland in, in the Magic Kingdom. So the history of the attraction is when Walt Disney World opened in 1971, a Pirates of the Caribbean attraction was not included. The Western River Expedition would have been that park's version of the now famous ride. 
Being that the theme park was located in Florida, Imagineers did not plan on building a Pirates of the Caribbean ride because Florida, it was thought that pirates were not that exciting. Management thought that a ride based on cowboys and Indians would be more exciting. So the attraction was designed by Imagineer Mark Davis, who created the ride inside another Disney mountain, Thunder, Thunder Mountain Mesa, or Thunder Mesa Mountain. So guests would have entered the loading zone in a twilight atmosphere, and guests then would have traveled up a waterfall, while a narrator, Hoot Gibson, an audio animatronic owl, would explain the safety instructions. Guests then would travel through the peaceful western scenes, including singing cacti, buffaloes, and prairie dogs. Guests would then witness Mexican bandits robbing a stagecoach, warning that they would meet the riders downriver. Riders would then enter the town of Dry Gulch and see scenes of a bank robbery, prison, prisoners escaping the sheriff's cell, a saloon, and a shootout with, with the roofs of the buildings. After exiting the town, guests would then travel to the wilderness and see an Indian reserve along with rain dance that would cause it to rain in the ride. Riders would continue their journey and come across a forest fire and then come across the previous Mexican bandits that would tell guests to have their hands in the air before the riders would escape down a waterfall. So why, would this, why was this ride never built? This would have been one of the most complex Disney attractions at the time and included several other attractions that would complement this, including a runaway mine roller coaster, hiking trails up the mountain, and a pack mule attraction. The coast was one of the reasons that it was never built, um, or the cost, sorry. Also during the early days of Walt Disney World, the most common complaint from guests is why there was not a Pirates of the Caribbean ride. To satisfy guests, Disney quickly built a Pirates of the Caribbean ride and because of the economy of the 1970s, the Western River Expedition was deemed too expensive, along with concerns of Western stereotypes. However, several elements of the ride were included in other attractions, including Big, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad and Splash Mountain. During Disney fan conventions, such as the D23 Expo, concept art for the attraction gave guests a glimpse of what could have been. So I, I've seen the concept art. It looked like it was incredible. And again, I don't like to reflect on what if, uh, but again, this looked like it would have been a great compliment to something that was different to Disney World. So thank you so much for joining us here on Disney Movie Investigation. I would love anyone to please leave a comment on what they thought of the movie Bad Girls. Also, if you would uh, indulge me a little bit, if you would have preferred a Pirates ride or a Western River ride, what would have been your preference for Walt Disney World? So as we look forward to our next video, we are going to take a look at the Marvel Cinematic Universe as we take a look at Captain America, the Winter Soldier. So until next time, I hope you have a magical day and we will see you real soon.